the Dio Decimus Grasshopper is at first glance complicated, so this tutorial will help you to understand its component parts and their function, and, just as importantly, show you how to set up the Grasshopper so it runs smoothly and accurately. So let's just pause the Grasshopper and take a look at its parts. It is basically made up of three components, the two articulated pallets and the Grasshopper body. The body provides the main pivot point, but also the pivot points for both pallet arms. The escapement wheel turns in an anti-clockwise direction, so the right hand pallet when it engages will be pushed, therefore we will call it the push pallet. The left hand pallet when it engages will be pulled, so the pull pallet. To better understand what actually happens when the grasshopper is working, we will take a look in slow motion. Here you can see that the left pallet has just engaged with the wheel. There is a small recoil movement where the momentum of the pendulum pushes the wheel in the opposite direction. As soon as that happens, the pressure from the wheel against the pulling pallet stops. It is now absolutely free, so the magnets can bring it into its starting position. Now the pull pallet has re-engaged, a small amount of recoil, and the push pallet is no longer held and returns to its starting position. Now the push pallet re-engages and the cycle starts again. Each cycle takes two seconds. In one day alone, that is 43,200 cycles. Before we continue, it's vital that you have the swinging times as well as the escapement wheel drive force shown in the other duodecimal tutorial. If you do not, do not even try setting up your grasshopper as it will just end in frustration. As you know, there is a magnet in the pallet disc and just opposite there is one in the grasshopper body. As they are polarized to attract each other, the pallet when free will snap back into its starting position. To make it a bit more transparent, I have added the dot to show the magnet position, which of course would not normally be visible. As you have seen before, it is vital that the pallet engages in the correct position. This position can be adjusted by turning the pallet disc. If we wished to lift the starting position of the pull arm, then the disc must be turned clockwise. When the magnets line up, this will lift the pallet arm. To drop the arm, just turn the disc in an anti-clockwise direction. So we have everything set up. The driveway is hung and the grasshopper is nice and level. The closed peg on the escapement wheel prevents the wheel from just whizzing away. Always reclamp it when there is a danger that both pallets could disengage. A good starting point is to adjust the pallets so that the pins sit about 2 to 3 millimeters outside of the escapement wheel. So I am going to start by showing you how the pallets should engage with the escapement wheel. The pull pallet is engaged and I am just moving the pendulum up and down so I can see exactly where the pin on the push pallet hits the wheel. As you can see, it falls directly into the tooth without touching its sides and it slowly and gently disengages. Here it is exactly the same for the pull pallet. Now I would like to show you what can go wrong and how to correct. Firstly, you can see that the pin is hitting the tooth too high, so the pallet needs lowering, which means turning the disc in an anti-clockwise direction. Also, the pin is disengaging way too aggressively. You can reduce the disengaging force by increasing the distance between the magnets. Here you can see the grasshopper from above and these are the two magnets that control the pull pallet. So in order to reduce the force, just push the disc outwards. Here you can see that the push pallet is disengaging with a lot of force. If it is too much, 
then it will disengage before the pull pallet has engaged. Now just watch. Believe me, you do not want to see your almost finished clock doing that. So that's pretty much it. Just bear in mind that the closer you get the pallets to where they should be, the smaller the disc adjustments need to be. And don't forget, if it's not working as it should, before you get frustrated, go off and do something else. And come back when you are calmer.